All right, guys, I'm going to show you um, how to use the live paint bucket on this one. So on this one, we added colors kind of on a layer by itself. On this one, I'm going to add them directly to my image trace. So this is still a vector drawing, or sorry, this is still um, a raster drawing. Um, and so this one, this one's blocked right now, so let me unlock that. You can see it has a black background. It hasn't been converted to a vector yet through the image trace. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm going to have my properties, go to image trace, default, and I'm going to see how this ends up looking. Usually, like I said, the first time usually looks a little bit like it needs a little adjustments. So that looks a little thin to me. I'm going to go to my panel. I might add some more blacks into here, um, see how that looks. And I normally do this pretty subtly. Um, that looks a little better to me. You know, I might adjust the paths up, move the noise down. I'm just kind of moving around until, until it looks you're happy with it. Um, that looks pretty good to me. And so now I'm going to ignore my white. And you'll see the white go away. You should see the skateboard edge kind of come back through it. And so now that's a nice kind of clean vector that I can work with. Now I'm going to expand this. With the live paint bucket, it's really important you expand it because right now it's only seeing one box. When I expand this, it sees all of these as shapes now. So if I wanted to come in here and, and put some colors in, um, hidden is typically down here under the Shape Builder tool, um, but hidden under that icon, you'll see this live paint bucket, or you can hit K on your keyboard. And what it does, um, it finds all of these little sections, every path that you see, or every kind of um, shape that you see between, between your drawing, and it allows you to put color into it. So let's say I wanted to kind of use like this orange tone. You can kind of see, so it's the little arrow, like the triangle part where you need to kind of be like clicking and plopping these things. So you can kind of see me move through here if I wanted to add that tone. Um, again, I could do this on a layer underneath it with just a shape, but this kind of works pretty good. I can kind of come in here, I can go real fast and add it. So if I get out of this, you can kind of see now on the same layer, I have this nice kind of clean drawing. So I probably need to come back in here and add those ones. Looks like I missed that. So I find this tool um, super help helpful. Um, I do typically zoom in pretty good on it when I'm working on it. Um, and you can add as many colors as you want. So let's say I wanted to kind of do like kind of a variety, like kind of a mosaic kind of a look in here. And I'm going to grab the next tone, work your way through this. It's kind of a fast way to kind of pick and choose colors. Um, it becomes a little cumbersome to edit at the end if you need to kind of change tones. So I would be very careful that you do um, do it kind of exactly as you want. Um, you can get in here with the direct select tool to kind of change tones up, um, but it does, like I said, it, it becomes a little cumbersome as, as we're working trying to edit beyond. But that is a fairly cool tool to work with. Um, you can kind of see the results pretty quickly. It went from a black and white drawing and we're already adding all this vibrancy to it.